Hey everyone, today is day 27 of the Circuit Breaker. We have another 29 more days to go. Yep, uh, before the Circuit Breaker is finally over. Anyway, today's uh, video is a follow-up to the one that I did earlier regarding the Flare Espresso. I've had a couple of days to actually um, um, play with the device. Uh, I've been trying to dial it in. Uh, and so far, I think... Um, I really just um, I've really been quite excited to just uh, redo the entire video because I think it's important that uh, I share um, the benefits of having a system like that in your house. I think it is a very very good tool for anyone to have if you need to make good espresso. And I'm and also because I'm so thoroughly impressed with the flat espresso that you know I think. Um, Everyone needs to get one, you know, because having the flat espresso, you not only get to save money, you don't have to, you have to, you don't have to purchase an annoying pots that you have with all those commercial uh, machines, you know, like your Nespresso's and blah blah blah, whatever. Um, you don't need to invest in like the fancy ex espresso machine like a Slayer, like a Lamazoko Strada. I mean, look. You want something at home, you want something convenient, but yet at the same time, you know, you, you miss the intensity of, uh, of an espresso, you know, or the intensity of even a, a nice uh, ice Americano. Now, this is something that you will not be able to achieve with like your Paul Bear coffees. I mean, it's a different taste, it's a different style. Not really, uh, it's a compromise, especially if I make my own pour over coffee. As you can see here that, you know, I've got the Hario V60 and uh, I've got uh, all these on, on, on standby. So I've been doing that for a while. Nothing quite gives me the satisfaction of an espresso. And today's video, I'm just going to give a very in-depth uh, review, or rather the whole process of how I actually make a glass of, uh, of a flat espresso. Like I said, I've had a couple of days to uh, play with it, you know, different grind sizes. And I also managed to uh, acquire a Barazza 270W uh, from an online marketplace in Singapore for cheap. And it was very, very well maintained and uh, kudos to the guy, you know, for actually uh, taking care of it. Um, the 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 skill, the KS skill still still works on, the, on a grinder. Uh, so, I'm just going to take you through the entire process. It's all going to be in one take. As soon as I step into the kitchen, um, I will uh, not do any edits. I will, take you, uh, I will take you through the entire process from grinding my beans, boiling my water, and pulling, literally pulling the espresso shot. And uh, let's see what happens. Alright, so let's just start. The first thing I do when I get into the kitchen, I will grab my gooseneck uh, kettle. So I'm just gonna start uh, filling it up with water. So that basically gives me time to do the grinds and everything else. So I would just start filling in the water. All in one edit. So let's see if I manage to pull this off. Okay, up to the halfway mark. I like to boil a little bit more. I'm not gonna use everything. I go for maximum 1006. So while that is on the stove, I go to my Baratza. So this is the Baratza that I purchased. I have it on two settings. I have it on one and two. The reason why I have uh, two settings is because if you notice on the Flare Espresso, I've, um, I've actually configured it in this manner. So it's very quite convenient. I've got the tamper down here. I've got the additional Porter filter here and the number two setting is actually for this second Porter filter, which I will not be using today. And I've got the the, the pressure pressure, uh, pressure gauge. Uh, got this. And I've got the shim inside. All right. So whenever I keep it, I keep it in this manner, and I throw this yellow cloth over it. Okay. 
So let's, uh, we're gonna go with uh, the number one grind. Okay, so this is done. Problem with this Baratta is, uh, it's, the scale is working, but it's not perfectly accurate in terms of uh, the dosage. This was slightly over 0.6 actually. Is it, has it been zeroed out? Oh, anyway, this is supposed to be 0.6, but I do have an Achaia scale. So let me just try and fix this. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get this thing in focus. So, well, this, once I have the dose ready, I will set this up, all right? Notice that um, this entire process, I've been doing this for the last couple of days and been trying different grind settings. So depending on the beans, so I, I actually um, vary between three different kinds of beans. So I find that a sweet spot for the three bags is uh, anything from the grind size between 9 to 15. So for this, for these beans, actually sorry, it's actually between 9 to 17. So anywhere in between, uh, so far that's a sweet spot on the on one of the more, uh, the finest grindings. So once I start tapping this, I will just keep tapping it until I see the silver all around it. That's when I know it's good. Then I remove the funnel and then like so many of the videos I've seen, I would then do give it a nice firm press. And it's not like what you see in those commercial cafes where you go like, you know. So this, nice and firm. And then the shim. You can know you notice that over here they say that you know there's no not much of a difference between this side and this side. So this side is obviously a little bit smaller. This side's a little bit bigger. I want to go with this side on the top. I think this actually gives me slightly better results for the Flare Espresso. Okay? So this is now on standby. And now, I am going to wait for the, my water to boil. Still waiting for my water to boil. color piece <sighs> so I'm missing this uh, gray sleeve where it slots over us to preheat this um, this main chamber so instead of that I'm just gonna make do with this bowl right here okay, you can see that this is boiling I will just preheat this why are Okay, now that this has been preheated, I'm just gonna slot this over. So my mom has been asking me, it's like, why would I go through all that trouble just to make a glass of espresso? Obviously, not many people actually understand why it's necessary, but for all the coffee drinkers out there, you know what I mean. Alright, so just, okay, once it sees 
start seeing a little bit of water coming to the brim over here. That's when I stop, I slot this in. Put the gauge on. Let's go a little bit nearer to see the extraction. Okay. Right, and then now I'm gonna start pulling the shot. One, two. Then. All right, I'm trying to maintain at around seven, seven bar. Seven to nine bar. Okay, and then let's just. Just remove it. As you can see from here, got a really nice cup of espresso, and it's done. Let's try it. Yeah, I've never been more satisfied with a coffee purchase. Like, I buy coffee every other day, okay? This circuit breaker forces you to uh, consider, make many different kinds of considerations. It, uh, many different kinds of considerations. Things like, you know, are coffee runs really that essential? Not really. Uh, so this is why I think this is such a solid investment and I've actually been thinking about you know doing another full lot video, video for many many days now but only if I think it's worthwhile to do as and only after I dial in my flare espresso machine all right so with the re remainder of the boiled water I will just pour into the cup and I have my Black coffee. Voila. Yeah. Nice piping hot coffee. Now that's the end of the video. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about um, about a Fly Espresso, feel free to ask. Um, this is um, this is uh, not a sponsored video. I purchased this uh, unit by myself. I just wanted to share with everyone the benefits of having a system like this, and I'm just overall really impressed. I have no clue who made it. I mean, uh, the guy or the inventor or whatever. I'm pretty sure there are similar models like that in the, in the market, but this one is just impressive, and I I cannot be happier with the purchase. So, if you're serious about your coffee, you should definitely get something like the Flare Espresso.
before I conclude the video, I just want to show how easy the cleanup is as well. I would just remove this from the holder and then we go like this. Maybe just arrange it over here. Okay. First, you remove the pressure gauge. Alright, once the pressure gauge is removed, remove the bottom piece. The grounds can be used as, uh, it's very good for fertilizer, so I would just have this little bowl here. You want to remove the shim, most of the time it comes off quite easily. You know, you just, you just press it to the side. Okay, you just push it to the side and then it comes off. That's how you remove the shim. Then, just slowly knock it out. You know that you've got a nice compact uh, doors when everything just falls out, you know, from the portal filter. You get a nice rinse over water. Okay. Now that's back on the yellow cloth. Let me show you how I put everything together for the stowaway. So this was the main chamber. Using this, you push down on it to reset the position. This, before you put this um, silicone gasket over the chamber, the shim, I like to put it back here. Like so. And then the secondary portal filter, or the primary portal filter, whichever, slot it here. Like that. Like so. And then the The tamper goes inside here, neatly, this goes here, pressure gauge goes to the top, and I'm done for my morning coffee ritual. And that was about it guys, um, it was done. Entirely in one take. I, tr I'm, uh, I will try my best not to do any other edits in between. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up, uh, share, and uh, let me know what you think. Take care and see you soon. Bye.